Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we will look at how to create a waffle chart to show the progress towards a goal. So this is a waffle chart on screen, this is what we're going to create in this video and as the percentage changes, so if I change that to 78%, the waffle chart updates. And we have this nice kind of banner along the top, this title showing that as well. So let's get started. So I'm just going to create a new sheet at the bottom here. And let's put this waffle chart together. Now, first of all, we'll have to do a little bit of uh, planning, a bit of designing. Now, the waffle chart is just a 10 by 10 grid with a percentage in each of those cells. So the first thing we need to do is we need to put in these percentages. Uh, six, okay. So if I just start at the bottom here, there you go from bottom to top. If I put 1% in there, let me zoom in a bit for you guys. And if I put 11% in this one, I've got a couple of percents next to this. 12 and that will be two. I should now be able to copy this across quite easily to generate the other percentages of our grid. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I can do the same for these two. And then I should be able to highlight these and copy that upwards. Uh, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So I now have a 10 by 10 grid with a percentage in each one. Now ultimately when this waffle chart is created, we will not be seeing these percentages. It will just be a visualization. So let's make some steps at making this waffle chart look good and also hiding them. Now, first of all, for the waffle chart to look good, I want to apply a light gray background fill like that. And I'm also going to go into the borders area. Let's format that a little bit more so that I can put just a border around the outside, a black one around the outside. And then I want a white one in the middle. So I'm just gonna make my color change there and affect it in the middle there of the preview and click okay. And that's what I want that to look like. Okay, I'm now just going to highlight that range again and go into my custom format area. I'll click this arrow for format cells, custom number format, and in this type box, I'm going to enter three semicolons, one after the other. That, when I click OK, will hide the content. It's a wonderful little trick. Just three semicolons, you know, one separating the four elements of a custom format. And by not doing anything, it simply hides the values. I can now make these columns and rows a little bit smaller. Because the waffle chart's going to be a lot smaller than this. Here we go. They could even be a little bit smaller if we wanted. Oops. Didn't highlight them all there. I'll highlight these rows. Make that a little bit smaller. And this is more like the kind of waffle chart that we have on the other sheet. It's even a little bit smaller, this one, but I'll go with that. Now, I need a percentage written somewhere. So let me just click and sell M4 here, and I'll put in an example like 45%. Now, that cell would probably be driven by, let me put it in the cell above so it looks a bit better for now. There we go. Um, that would probably be driven by some kind of formula in reality. Uh, but here, we'll just have a cell that we can change so we can get this. Um, demonstration of our waffle chart working. So we've got the percentages in there. I can see it in the formula bar, but we can't see it in the cell. That's got the appearance we want. I'm now going to highlight those cells again to apply a conditional formatting rule. That is what is driving the visualization this waffle chart brings. It's a simple rule. I will click on new rule. Format only the cells that contain, and I'm going to set less than or equal to for my parameter, 
and then select the cell that contains that percentage. So are those cell values less than or equal to M3 in my case? I'll press the format button and choose a nice fill color. I was going for one of these dark uh, color orange colors. And as I OK my way out, there we have it. We have ourselves a waffle chart. So if I change this percentage to 67%, it updates or to 81% and so on. Then it can drop back down to maybe 14%. So there's our visualization of that progress towards the goal, a percentage in a grid each time. Now on the other sheet, I did have this title as well. Now that's been driven by a formula. So in cell B2, let's put it in here. What I've done here is, let me type it here and I'll copy it over. I've used the text function. The text function will convert a value to text, but maintain its formatting. So I've used that so that I can reference the percentage that this waffle chart's using, but then when they prompt for the format text, display it as a percentage. So I've wrapped it in these inverted commas here, zero to represent a value, percentage sign for obvious reasons. Close bracket put in an ampersand, and I can make up whatever text I want here. In this example, I have to support, can you display the progress percentage? You know, keeping it as text, but show it as a percentage, and concatenate to that a space and the word complete. If I press enter on that, there's a title. Let me shift it into position, and maybe make it bold so it's a clearer title. This other row can maybe shrink. This would not normally even be visible on screen. That would be probably on some kind of hidden sheet elsewhere where the calculations are stored. And there we have our completed waffle chart. Once again, when the percentage updates, they will both now update with this nice clear title, but also this more visual element of that progress. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel and come and see us at computergaga.com.